Hello friends, I'm so glad to see you. My name's Miss Hannah and I'm a teacher at the church. Just because we can't go to the church doesn't mean that we can't learn about Jesus. We can learn about Jesus anywhere, even in a video like this. Are you ready to learn about Jesus? Me too. Let's start by praying. Do you remember how? First, let me see your wiggly fingers. Very good. We're going to catch them on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Did you get them? Good job. Now we have to close our mouths. Open your mouth real wide and now close it oh, and keep it closed. Then we're going to close our eyes and I'm going to pray. Ready? Here we go. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for all my friends who are watching today. Help us to know that you alone are good and help us to listen to our Bible story like we should. In Jesus' name, Amen. Today's Bible story comes from Matthew chapter 4. I love Bible stories because all of them are true and they teach us about Jesus. Today's Bible story teaches us about when Jesus was tempted. After Jesus was baptized by John, he went out into the wilderness. There were no cities or other people around, and he was out there for a really long time. And he got really hungry. Pretend that you're really hungry. Ooh, my tummy. Good job. Well, the devil shows up and says, Jesus, if you're so hungry, why don't you just turn some of these stones into bread? Jesus said, no, no, I'm not going to do that. People need God's word more than they need bread. Well, then the devil took Jesus to the top of the temple. And he said, Jesus, just jump off the temple because God's word says that you can't get hurt. Jesus said, no, no, devil. God's word also says, do not tempt God. Finally, the devil took Jesus to the highest mountain top. And he said, look around, Jesus. Everything you can see, I'll give to you if you worship me just one time. Jesus said, go away, devil. No, no. The Bible says we're only supposed to worship God. And then the devil went away and angels came to take care of Jesus. In this Bible story, we learn that God sent Jesus to be our perfect king and that he's perfect in every way. In this story, we learn that Jesus loves everyone and that Jesus always obeys God's word. He never sins. And he teaches us how to obey God too. This week, make sure that you obey mom and dad and that you obey God's word to love him more. Remember, Jesus loves you very much, friends, and so do I. See you next time.